out there. <laughs> Didn't I tell you I'll get the problem resolved? Didn't I tell you? After seven days, I did magic. And I, you know, the magic that I can talk about using the pentagram. And I got the shit under control. I got my spirit and my demons and those of others, including my archons, under control. Because they were fucking with me. And I had to tell them who was boss. Who's boss? You know, I carried the pentagram. And therefore, be careful. But I'm also a walking, talking, living, breathing pentagram. One, two, three, four, five. So are you. You are number five. The symbol of Earth. Now, we are talking about the moon in Capricorn. Oh, boy. Cardinal Earth. The footstool in which we stand. The moon in Capricorn is a consolidation of all the ten signs that have come before. Now, with all of the experience and all of the knowledge and all of the uh, theory, we now come to the conclusion or we come to the final step where we reach now the platform where we now are called to apply what we've learned, apply what we've experienced through learning, through conditioning, family, friends, environment, race, culture, our per personal education, and our own secular experiences. This becomes a consolidation of experiences that's going to hit to a bud. It's going to go to a head. And that happens in your mid-50s when the moon reaches Capricorn. Capricorn is serious energy. It's no-nonsense energy. It is... It, the moon in Capricorn is concerned with success. Financial success on the earth plane. Fuck spiritual. Fuck emotional. Fuck anything else. Money, success, a career is first and foremost with you or anyone that was born with the moon in Capricorn. The sexy, exuberant, and sometimes out of control energy of Sagittarius becomes calm and consolidated and coalesced into a concentral focus when it reaches Capricorn, the sign of the Masonic initiation. What I'm doing right now, I'm going to show you real quick. Now I'm going to stop it. I just did a Masonic symbol, Masonic initiation. Capricorn rules secret societies, the skulls and bones of presidents, the Illuminati, like what happens in Cedar Grove in California, you know, with the hour and five. Very demonic stuff. But I can't judge because I'm also an initiate and I'm also a member of the club. So by all intents and purposes, one can call me demonic. And I carry the pentagram on my chest. And I have it from birth. I had no choice. The red tassel that you see hovering over me on the left, because it means something if it's on the right. It's also a symbol of the initiation, the crucifixion of the Christ, the crucifixion that's recording your own life to get to where you want to go. You're not going to get there for free. You have to pay a price. And that price is a sacrifice that you have to make about your own personal life, that you have to give up in order to obtain what you want. And that might cause you happiness or unhappiness, or it might cause you either way. If, you know, when you get to Capricorn, happiness is a relative term. It's about security, survival, sustainability, and continuity. Coupled with power, honor, and most of all, most of all, respect. There is no compromising in this area with Capricorn or the Capricorn moon. It's all business. Business. Love, fuck love. Love takes a second seat when you're born with the moon in Capricorn. Oh, trust me, Capricorn moon women and Capricorn moon men are not going to admit that to you. 
but it is. And their misery, because you both, those born with the moon in Capricorn can be very miserable and lead miserable lives internally. Not that it's something that you're going to see a witness from the outside looking in. This is an internal process. This is this is an internal state of being. Capricorn is cardinal earth. Which means that there is, it's about action and movement. But here's the thing. The way Capricorn asserts its cardinality, it's not the same way that you see it in Libra, in Aries, or Cancer. Maybe you see a little bit, a little bit of it in Cancer because it's the polar opposite of Capricorn. But with Capricorn, Capricorn feels that the only way that it can succeed and be happy in its in its success is to accept the reality that with pain comes pleasure. And pleasure and pain are one and the same. So if you are someone that's moved or enraptured by desire, when the moon reaches Capricorn, either by birth or secondary progression or transit or a secondary progression of the moon, because it is a separate calculation of the secondary progression of the moon than it is of the other planets. And that's mathematical. I'm not going to get into that unless you're an astrologer and you will understand the language. So I won't do that. But understand that when the moon reaches Capricorn, and if you are a very happy-go-lucky person, a very goo goo gaga person, a person who's very uh, antithetical and feminine, and kind of like me, kind of like me, and the moon reaches Capricorn, you get a slap in the face. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. Sit down somewhere. You ain't all about you. Yeah, you think you're cute? Let me show you. And then come the trials of Capricorn. Capricorn is a sign of the devil. And there's a reason why. Now, we're going to go into it. Because the spirits are here. I just felt them. So now, we're going to jump right in and go right into the lair. Understand that Capricorn represents the demiurgic symbol of Jehovah and the demiurgic symbol of Satan, Beelzebub, uh, Baphomet, and all the other names that are attributed to the demiurgic God, including Buddha, Krishna, Zoroaster, and all the other cultures and religions, anthropologically speaking, of our past. It's all Jehovah. It's all the same demiurgic deity at work and at play, along with the archons and the watchers. They're all in cahoots together. And I can't really talk too much about it because this is what got me kind of like a little slow down from my YouTube channel. Because they are now watching me and watching what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 but you know, the Aries moon, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to march right ahead. I'm not 50 cents that way. Okay? It's time that humanity is awakened to what's going on. There is a predator among us. And we can smell him, we can taste him, we can see him, we can feel him, but it was born with us. And that takes us back to Atlantis. If you take my classes, I talk in details about it, because I can't do it on YouTube. I will be shut down or possibly even killed. You cannot talk about things like that. And I have a private meeting in which you do that. Okay? But understand that when you reach Capricorn, the moon in Capricorn, you are reaching... You know, when we look at these movies, and, you know, the, the, the pirate movies, right? And, you know, the, the cartoons. Remember the cartoons? Remember Tom and Jerry? For those of you who are in my generation, 50 and under, because you don't see these cartoons now. So if you're a millennial watching me, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. I'll let you go back and look at it. If you look at those cartoons, Tom and Jerry, remember when they were forced to, to walk the plank? And if you look, if you go back, 
They'll kill you with a bayonet. They'll stab you. They'll shoot you. But if you go into the plank and jump yourself into the ocean, you got sharks ready to eat you. So what do you prefer? To be eaten alive by the ocean sharks? An apex predator of the seas? Or be shot or killed or stabbed by the bayonet of a human? What will you do? What will you choose? How will you choose your death? This is the epitome of the moon in Capricorn. When you're born with the moon in Capricorn, you are forced to make a choice. And the choice might not always be in your favor. But you have to make the sacrifice for a principle an ideology, or for a person. And so Capricorn, the polar opposite of Capricorn is cancer. So as much as we want to call Capricorn the devil, understand that there is a compassionate, humanistic, loving, embracing, and giving aspect of the moon in Capricorn. But those are gems. And you're not going to get that if you don't deserve it. Because the moon in Capricorn, man or woman, knows who's worthy, even of their presence, and who's not. Don't fuck with Capricorn. Because it might cost you your life. Like Scorpio. These are powerful signs and powerful phases. Past Virgo, anything past Virgo, can be dangerous. Because we know... If we are from Virgo below, we don't know we're innocent. The universe forgives us. But when we reach Virgo and we reach adulteration, adulthood, and we move into Libra, cardinal air, where well, we should know better, and you still fuck up, you will pay when the moon, by progression, reaches Capricorn. It is the seat of judgment. Did you do what you were supposed to do in your last 30 years? Did you do what you were supposed to do in your last 50 years? Because when the report card comes and the guys open the book and they look towards Capricorn and they see, well, what did you do? What did you do? What's your claim to fame? Well, you did not. Oh, fuck them out of here. Fuck out of here. Really, bitch? Really? Capricorn will be offended that father you, that you're in his presence and you brought nothing to the table because it's about practical results with Capricorn. Talk is cheap. What did you produce? This is the embodiment of the moon in Capricorn. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> you know, I gotta do a little theatrics. I gotta, I gotta keep a little interest. You know? <laughs> ah, I know. See, the spirits and the demons of Saturn, like, be serious. You're representing Papa. And I'm, I know I'm representing Papa. I know. You know? So I'm, I'm doing it right. I'm doing it right. So... If you were born with the moon in Capricorn, this incarnation that you're in is serious. It's serious business. And you are going to be judged by the gods if you fuck up. If you're born with the moon in Capricorn, you can't fuck up. Because if you fuck up, you're going to pay. You're going to pay. When you're born with the moon in Capricorn, you have to accept powerful and even burdensome, inconvenient responsibilities that will sacrifice your own personal happiness. It won't be forever. But if, if you're in that phase with the Capricorn moon, understand that there is a reason why. And like the moon inside, this also requires that you do a professional consultation because it is different case by case, person. Saturn, uh, Capricorn rules karma in past lives. So whatever is afflicting you with the moon in Capricorn might not be associated with the current incarnation. It might be related to your past life. There's no way that in this video that I can address that. So I have to. I can only give the generic generic template. When you pass the moon in Libra through Pisces, it gets a little complicated to give a full synthesis. 
You need a professional birth chart done or calculate if you have moons in this sign past Libra, past Virgo. Moon from Aries to Virgo. Uh, 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 when I give you in the videos, you can you can you, you can use that as food and keep uh, keep uh, keep going, keep it moving. But if you have the moon from Libra to Pisces, uh, uh, the, the, a generic representation is not going to be enough. You're gonna have to be charted by an astrologer, you know. To give to do you justice, you're not gonna seek that here. Not in the general video. It's too complex because remember, we're moving towards God. We're moving from ego, which is Aries to Virgo to God, Libra to Pisces. Life is not one dimensional, two dimensional as it is with Aries through Virgo. It becomes multidimensional when it comes when it reaches Libra through Pisces. So therefore, the interpretation of these signs in progression or secondary progression will become much more complex because human beings grow and expand. And as we learn and evolve through assimilation of our environment, it will change our perspective, our intellectual perspective, our emotional perspective. And that can also mold our philosophical view of how we interpret life. Know that there's a part of us that is allowed to make formulations, to make opinions about how we experience life. We are given leeway to do that and then create our own synthesis with the skeletal framework in which we were given that allows us, and that skeletal framework in which we were given, and mind you, is the race, culture, condition, upbringing that we have been conditioned to raise based on the different cultures and races and family values that we have grown up to experience. In addition to that, you have this other aspect of spiritual philosophy, whether you are aware of it or not, that will actually add or aid in the further development of your spirit and your evolution, giving you a focal point as to where you are heading. But understand that you cannot even reach that point if you don't know you. So you need to know you first. And that happens between Aries to Virgo. And then when you know you from Aries to Virgo, you reach the second half of the cycle, which is Libra through Pisces. Well, you now you learn about others because others are a reflection of the self. And we are all part of the whole. This mystery is embodied when the moon reaches Capricorn. Mm. Capricorn rules earth, sensuality, music, drink, drugs, money, sex, hedonism. So we, 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 no, just because the energy died down in Sagittarius, well, the, the energy is high in Sagittarius. It begins in Scorpio, smoldering, slow energy sexually. You can feel the sexual energy, but you don't see it. But then you see it externalized in Sagittarius. But in Capricorn, it goes back into a shell and becomes like an onyx stone. It becomes like an onyx stone. You see the onyx stone? Onyx is the, is the birthstone of Capricorn. It becomes strong like the rock of Gibraltar. Now you're ready to face the world on the world's terms. And you have a little money to help you along the process. <laughs> of course, it's Earth. We need, you know, we need to have a nice, healthy bank account. We do. And land and property and beach house and summer houses. All that is exuded by the Rolex watches. That's all exuded by the moon in Capricorn. So. But the moon in Capricorn symbolizes many things. If we're talking esoteric astrology. The moon in Capricorn symbolizes initiation. Initiation to what? And from what? Because it's twofold. Initiation to what? And from what? Initiation from what? Is that you leave your old world, that of the ego and the personality, behind. And the gravitation is towards the soul, which is the actual God within you. But the ego, which is the voice of the archons, I'll talk about that in my classes, is designed to stop you. 
is designed to limit you and confuse you and dissipate your energy. This is the demonic essence and agenda of the Archons. But I possess Archons. We all do. But they're not awakened in you. When you reach a certain level due to incarnations to come, you'll be like me and be spiritually unawakened. And when that happens, you will see the Archons and hear them and know that there are two dialogues going on. Your thoughts are not just your own. You have your own voice, but there are other voices talking to you that you think they're yours. And that's the ego. And the ego is symbolized by the archons. Now, that is a mystery that I cannot go too deep into. Not in this open forum. You got to take my classes where I talk about it privately. And you will have to pay for that. Yes, you will have to pay for that. This is Capricorn. Knowledge is not for free. And this particular knowledge that I have to offer is extremely dangerous to you. And to me, if I go too far with it, okay? Because already I'm getting all kinds of uh, um, calls from my class, from my students who are taking my classes. Some of them are having nightmares. Some of them are having depression. One of my students had a nervous breakdown because of the knowledge that I'm giving them in my classes and the books I'm giving them. This stuff is dangerous. It's, it's dangerous knowledge. And you have to be prepared mentally to accept these truths because it is an unplugging. And you cannot go back to the world that you knew once you unplug. You got to watch that fucking movie, The Matrix. I'm telling you, the people that made that movie, and I know Keanu Reeves, the people who did this movie and wrote it, they are members of the club. They're telling you stuff through that movie. Oh my God, Lord of God, Jesus, Lord of my God. I gotta take a drink. Ooh. It's frightening. But this is the moon in Capricorn, the sign of the devil. And the devil here is more than what you think I'm talking about. But that, I'm going to keep quiet. What do you think I drink? It's careful. You got to be careful. What a price to pay. Okay? Now, I haven't even started. So, we're going to jump right in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Before I do. Please, uh, there are so many of you who have donated to my GoFundMe page. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a video that I'm going to discuss and give thanks for those of you who are contributing to my GoFundMe page. Thank you so much. I am doing the show in chance for but it won't be in June because in June, you know, in a couple of weeks, I'll be in Singapore and in Shanghai and in Beijing. So, and I got business in those countries. And if you are in those countries, I will give you my information, my hotels, where I'm staying. You can come and visit me. And I'll probably do a seminar at the hotel where I'm staying in uh, Singapore. Let's see what my management team is putting together. They're working all that out for me. Now, so if you are in Singapore or in Beijing or in Shanghai, between June 12th to June 20th, I will be there. I will give you the information. And I hope I see you. Okay, let me just put that out there. If you want a reading or a birth chart consultation or a tarot, I know, I got to say this. Because I always forget, because I don't like doing that. It's a pretty, I think it's cheap. It cheapens me for some reason. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, but I'm going to say it because my management wants me to say it. So, yeah, if you want a reading or a consultation, you can call me at 347-485-6258. Or you can contact uh, Corinne the Green, my manager. I don't have the number right now because I don't like to do this. So, you know, the Aries moon, man, I become a baby. I'm like, oh, you know, this isn't about money. But I know I got to pay people, so I got to do this. You know what I'm saying? You know, but understand that this is the essence of what's going on. Okay? The moon in Capricorn. Remember, after Capricorn, you got two more signs left. Aquarius and Pisces. And then we go back to God. Or, and not come back. Or, we, because of karma, we come back to pay debts. So now, we are forced to come back. Like myself. I was born on the 19th. I was born on a karmic number. So I am, and I, and I remember, I didn't want to come here. I remember, that's what you got to be born there. And I, I don't want to be there. But because I was bounded by karma, I'm back here. And I'm here to serve. Okay? Otherwise, I will not be here. Because I know that this is hell on earth. 
And we're done with part one.